It's Mortal Kombat time, baby! Alright chumps, what's poppin'? Your boy's finally showing off Mortal Kombat 11 on the channel and it's been one of my most anticipated games of the year. And I can't wait to share my thoughts on the Switch version? Hold up. Alright, for the past couple days, the Switch version has been a highly controversial topic in terms of Mortal Kombat because homeboys really out here complaining about the downgraded graphical fidelity. And some early videos showing off the game on the Switch was roaming around YouTube for about a week before it was released and uh, as of this recording those channels took a fat ass oof by netherrealm and yeah they've been taken down so i was able to see how well this version stacked up against the other consoles and let me say i'm pretty impressed first of all just to let you all know for the people who are part of the physical cartridge gang you know who you are the game is going to take around 16 gigabytes of storage from your sd card that's a big ass download my guy so at this point having the cartridge is basically useless but at least the box looks dank Shit, man, look at this beauty. But without the update, you won't be able to have access to all the stages and characters and some modes, so keep that in mind. Alright, let's talk about the game already, dog, because I'm trying to fucking play right now. The graphics. Yeah, let me talk about that. It's a noticeable downgrade, but not a bad one entirely. This ain't no Ark Survival for the Switch type of situation, so chill out, y'all. But we'll get that to just in a bit. Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch is a fully packaged game filled with all its great content, like its story mode, with its beautiful cutscenes, training mode, conquest. Conquest? Is it Armageddon? What the f? The crypt and ugh, everything. The motherfucker has everything. Just trust me on this one, dog. It even has online, but at the time of this recording, I couldn't have access to it, which kind of sucks because I was really curious about the online for this, but I guess I'll have to make it for another video for another time. So hoping it has dank netcode like the other systems have. All right, let's hop on the gameplay. In portable mode, the game looks kind of rough around the edges. Not chill the fuck out. I said kinda. Character models have a good chunk of detail missing and it's pretty noticeable if you're really into like paying attention to those kind of things. Background details also took a hit and textures of any kind are scaled down and look muddy, but the character models themselves look pretty good and that much geometry was taken off. I didn't notice any jagged edges around the models, so it's not as bad as what you would have seen on Mortal Kombat 9 on the PlayStation Vita where they obviously took a shit ton of missing polygons. But one glaring thing you'll notice in handheld mode is the absence of any type of anti-aliasing. It's very noticeable when you're customizing your character and the camera decides to zoom in on them. For example, take a look at Scorpion's eyes and notice how much shimmering you see around them. And holy f it's a lot. It can be jarring, but the small switch screen really does make up for it. But it's a good thing that they cut back these visuals. MK11 on the Switch runs at 60 frames per second. Sometimes. What I mean by sometimes. While I was recording this match in this specific stage, Scorpion's enhanced teleport caused the game to slow down. That and the inclusion of all the bullshit happening in the background, it really took a hit in the performance. When I tried doing the same thing on another stage, slowdown was still there but to a very minimal. Again, these are my first impressions so this is the only thing I've noticed after when I played. Other than that, controls feel pretty solid and feels great on the Switch Pro Controller. But for the most part, this game does run 60 frames per second. But where I was really surprised, it was when I connected my Switch to my dock. In my opinion, the game's quality looked way better on the bigger screen. I mean, some things still look jank, but take a look at this. This is Mortal Kombat 11 running on the PS4, and let's switch over, no that wasn't a f***ing pun, to the Switch. Notice a difference? <laughs> Probably. Well, my point is that it still looks really good. And one thing I noticed is that some anti-aliasing was actually put into the game while dogs, so it's a lot way smoother around the character model's edges. And you don't see as much pixels. Sure, I went back to the customization and Scorpion's eyes were still on crack, but, but hey, it looks a whole lot way better on the TV. Character intros and outros still look pretty damn cool, but fatalities and crushing blows will run lower than 30 FPS at some points, but won't affect gameplay by any means. Animations from the select screen are removed entirely and we get these lame ass 2D stock images of the characters and that kind of sucks because we won't be able to see how our character looks until we actually start the match. But that was mainly done to improve performance on the select screen. Sound quality is also good but the announcer sounds compressed and off sometimes. Overall it's basically Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch, it has everything it has to offer. 
I'd say if you only have a Switch, this is worth a buy without a doubt. But if you have a PS4 and don't care about taking your Switch all that often, just stick with the PS4. But I'd say for the hardcore and competitive MK players, this will be a great training tool to take on the go. This really brings me back to my days in my freshman year when I would just play Mortal Kombat 9 on my PlayStation Vita non-stop. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty nostalgic right now. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Did you guys pick up Mortal Kombat 11 on the Nintendo Switch? Please let me know and check out my other videos that I've done on Mortal Kombat on the Switch. They should be around my channel. Uh, if I don't forget, I'll probably put them in the description. And also, I'm doing a $10 eShop card giveaway, so I'll have that in the description for sure. So make sure you go watch that video and follow the rules and all that stuff to be entered. Uh, we're going to be giving away at 500 subscribers, so yeah, keep an eye out, keep an eye out for that. That's going to do it for today's video, and I'll catch you chumps later.